What will you do when faced with an emergency? Will you know how to react when disaster strikes? A select group of West Valley City residents recently completed a community emergency response team training, teaching them exactly what to do when facing the unexpected. We train them for evacuations, power outages, lost children, um, floods, any type of a natural disaster to earthquakes. Known as CERT, this seven-week training teaches individuals to respond to any emergency, small or large. We learn things from search and rescue to medical treatment to various psychological things for ourselves and how to help out the victims who are dealing with the disasters or other things that happen. Students, many with no experience at all, are taught to be first responders, stepping in when lives are on the line and every second counts. We start with small steps for them. Um, it's hard to throw students in with a major disaster drill all at once. Weeks of training are put to the test when an emergency unfolds right outside the classroom doors. Students react quickly, jumping into action and putting their skills to use. Hello, we're here for the search. So tonight it was a um, car accident, multiple car accident, many victims. Um, so it was a little overwhelming at first because we had to try to figure out what to do, who to treat. Tonight's training it was the first time that they were able to train with actual live victims. For new volunteers like Wesley Darton, CERT training has provided skills that will be useful if and when an emergency unfolds. I've found that the medical knowledge has been very helpful to know um, different ways of approaching a medical situation, saying, okay, these are the steps we need to go through in order to help someone out. For past CERT student Jeffrey Hill, tonight's drill was an opportunity to teach new volunteers while brushing up on his own emergency response skills. I took the class back in 2011, and then they asked me to be a victim. I do feel it's a, a great value because I get to uh, be able to help out. It also helps me to uh, hone my skills too as I watch them do it. I'm able to kind of see how I might uh, learn like from their experience and apply that as I have to do it in the future too. Many CERT volunteers including Hill and instructor Jill Chopin have used their training for real life emergencies. I've actually been involved in a search and rescue effort um, for a, a lost child, a seven year old girl that was actually missing in South Salt Lake. I've been at the site of a few accidents where I've had to do CPR and other things um, where the CERT training has helped me to not panic but just to step in and do the things that I needed to do to help in that situation. And that's what we train for is to it's to take care of yourself first and then your family and then go on go out to their neighbors and help them. It's good hands-on training that all of us can use in our everyday lives and if there's an accident they can step up not be scared and they can just apply what they've learned and and hopefully make a difference. Yeah I feel better prepared now knowing um, the various processes and the different things you need to do checking size up um, that sort of thing it definitely helps me out. CERT classes are held twice a year in West Valley City. Visit www wvcert.com to learn more about becoming a volunteer and to register for a course near you.